Why hello there. Welcome to another video. It has felt like an absolute lifetime since I've been on this boat. First time out this year. I wanted to get out a little bit earlier, maybe find some perch, but just wasn't in the cards. So I'm out here today, second Saturday of May. You know what that means? Opener. When I got to the boat ramp this morning, it was absolutely packed. A lot of people out here, absolutely gorgeous day as you can see from the footage. And we can pretty much fish for whatever we want. So today I'm going to be after pike if I can find them. I know the weeds aren't up just yet, but I'm going to look for them on the sonar. And with the lure, of course, hopefully get one on as pike is my favorite species to target in the summer. I kind of have this personal vendetta with pike, catching a 40 inch on here a couple years back, several years back and never finding one again. So I'm after the big girls and I won't stop all summer until I get one. So yes, it's a beautiful calm day. I could be out there for lake trout, but I really want to find these pike. So with that said, let's just get to fishing. That's what I came here to do. Let's go. Before I get to fishing, one thing I will say, I always wear my life jacket when I'm out here driving the boat by myself. You should have it on all the time. I will take it off. This is a disclaimer because it's absolutely way too hot in the sunshine with this thing on and only when I'm just floating and casting will I take this off. If I go back to driving the boat, life jacket back on. I do intend to get the strap self inflatable one that I'd be more inclined to wear all the time, but this neoprene one is just gonna make me overheat out here today. So if the boat is at a standstill, I'm taking it off. All right, let's do this. All right, all right. One more thing, full of tips today. Out in this sun, I was just saying I'm gonna overheat. That's because the sun is blaring down on me. Sunscreen, always have it in your vehicle, always have it on your boat. When you're out here for hours and hours on end, you get sunburned. I've come back with very bad burns before. Always have a can of this with you. When you're on the water, the sun rays, the UV rays are twice as bad. It reflects off the water and back onto you. So. I've come off this lake with pretty severe burns before actually and now I know wear sunscreen. My grandmother always wanted me to wear sunscreen, put it on your ears, your neck, do it. Alright, first cast of the open water season. Alright, nobody's that lucky so I don't feel bad. How's that for a bait? Isn't that awesome? Hand painted by Canadian Baits. It's got a rattle in it, it's super loud. I love that. Beautiful color. The, the amazing detail that goes into these lures. Again, hand painted, all custom, made by Canadian Baits. I love tossing out these huge baits. In my mind, it's gonna bring bigger pike. If they're hungry, they're gonna smash it. and it keeps a small, annoying little fish off the hook. Okay, so no fish yet. Whatever, I'm out here. And it's brunch time, I guess. Blueberries. I eat a lot of blueberries every single day. This is gonna be delicious. We'll see you after.
I just lost the bow fit. So I just lost the bow fin trying to turn the camera on. Classic, I don't know why I do that. I was turning the camera on and then going to grab the net. Beautiful bow fin, I'm gonna try and get another one. Oh, it's lunchtime. That's a big cooler, love it. Wanna know what we got? I think it's buried. Water, must set this down. So I don't have a Mr. Heater like I do ice fishing to warm this up, but I have nice grilled chicken with some mushrooms. Nice little lunch out here. I'm absolutely dying from this heat. That's why I got the top up on the boat, get a little bit of shade, cool down for a bit. Pretty upset I lost that bow fin. Every time I go to start the camera, I lose a fish. I'm gonna stop doing that, just net it, and then show you after. <sighs> that was a nice fish. All right, well, not much of a video today. Just wanted to put some content out. It's been a couple weeks since I did. And to be honest, after I lost that bow fin earlier on, I was a bit discouraged. The pike that I did find were in the shallows and not really biting anything so as you can see I'm getting a little tossed out here all the wakeboard boats and people towing their kids on tubes going by making waves not a big deal they're having fun but for us anglers we get tossed around when we sit here and try and fish so the winds are picking up I've been out here all day in the sun so I'm gonna call it quits it was just nice to come out here today and go for a rip on the boat oh Hey though, these waves really tossed me around, so I'll stand. But like I was saying, nice to get out here, first trip on the boat. Uh, after getting a little discouraged fishing, I wound up just enjoying the day, and that's how I Simcoe. Sometimes I'll just come out here and enjoy the day. <sighs> Sometimes I feel a little pressured to be out here fishing, to make videos. I know that's on me, no one's asking me to do this, but to grow the channel, it feels like I need to get out here and catch something, but you know what? I just like to come out here some days and enjoy being on the lake. Whether it's driving around, listening to some music, I just got my stereo back in the boat, uh, working on that tan, whatever it may be, I just come out here. That's how I Simcoe. You might Simcoe differently, but sometimes I just come out here to enjoy the lake. If I catch a fish, I catch a fish. So with that being said, hopefully you're able to get out here on Lake Simcoe. Just try and get to the other side of the boat here. Oh, like it's absolutely beautiful. Definitely is my happy place out here. And from what I did notice, uh, the reason I probably didn't catch any pike is I didn't try hard enough, number one. But my typical spots don't have weeds growing yet. It's still early in the season. Uh, and until those big weed beds show up, the pike aren't gonna lay in them. So in my prediction, they're out deeper. Uh, I didn't mark anything in the 25 foot range, but I've seen them down there. And the ones that were in the shallows were just either sunbathing or waiting for little fish to go by to ambush. But it's very difficult to fish for pike in like four feet of water without getting snagged on something. And chances are you just spook them. So, Hopefully the next video I'll have something better for you. But again, just wanted to come out here and enjoy the day, show you a little bit of content. And we'll see what happens next time. So get out on the lake, get fishing, enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video. Wait, I forgot, it's been a while. You stay happy and healthy and I'll see you in the next video.